Are the odds stacked against you when investing in the stock market? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to the Maluli Asset Show. I'm your host, Casey Maluli, back with you for this week's episode. And this week, we're going to talk about why investing in the stock market isn't at all like gambling in the casino, even though a lot of people think it is. So when you go to the casino and sit at the blackjack table or play slots or whatever your game of choice is there, you know that it feels good winning, but that you're not gonna win more, you're gonna lose more than you win. That's because depending on what game you play, the house or the casino knows that they're gonna win 51% of the time, let's call it, and you're gonna win 49% of the time, let's call it. And that difference, even though it doesn't seem like a lot, that difference, they know that that difference will add up the longer uh, the longer amount of time you spend there, and that's good business for them, not so good for you. So the longer you are at the casino, the less likely you are to make money. And investing in the stock market is actually the complete opposite of that. And I just wanna clarify that we're talking about investing your money, not day trading your money. Those two terms get uh, conflated. They often are used synon synonymously uh, and they're used interchangeably to mean the same thing, but they are not the same thing. So wanted to clarify, we're talking about investing here, but it's true. The longer you are investing in the stock market, the better your odds are of walking away with money at the end. So let's run through some scenarios here. If you invested over any given day, you have about a 55% chance of making money. Better than the casino, but not great. If you invest for a quarter, so three months, you have a 67% chance of walking away with money at the end. Better. If you invest over a year, those odds go up to about 75%. If you invest over five years, that goes up to about 86%. And if you get out into the 20 and 30 year time frame, those odds are approaching 100%. I like those odds. I don't know about you, but I like those odds. So let's zoom back in and, and say you only have a year and you can only invest in US stocks. Historically, you have a higher likelihood of gaining 20% in that year than you do of losing money. So over the last 95 years, we're talking US stocks here. So over the last 95 years, there's been 34 times that the market, the S&P 500, has gained more than 20% in a calendar year. 34 times gained more than 20% over the last 95 years. That's about a third of the time. Over those same 94 years, there's been 26 instances where the market has lost money over a calendar year, that's about a quarter of the time. A third is more than a quarter. When you think it's time to walk away from the blackjack table, it's probably a good idea. And when you wanna walk away from the stock market, it's probably a bad idea. It's often said that no one has gone broke taking a profit, and while that might be true of day trading and gambling at the casino or betting online, it is, the, it is not true and the opposite is true for investing in stocks over the long term. So that is today's message. Thanks as always for tuning in. I'll see you next week.